So we have discussed uh, uh, covariance variance matrix. Then we have discussed uh, as an example we have discussed the discrete type random variable. Now we are going to discuss uh, one uh, continuous type random variables in which uh, we can uh, describe the covariance variance matrix uh, in a nice way. That is a uh, one very important uh, multidimensional random variables of uh, continuous type that is called uh, multivariate normal distribution which has a lot of applications the way the central limit theorem which we are going to discuss later which has a lot of applications in the real world problems the same way the multivariate normal distribution also going to play a important roles in many complicated problems in a probability. Let x be a vector whose elements are x1, x2 and so on. It is a n-dimensional random variables are of continuous type with each random variable x size follows a normal distribution with the mean mu i and the variance uh, sigma i square for uh, i is equal to 1 to n. Then we call uh, the random variable x as the multivariate normal distribution. Whenever each random variable is normal distributed random variable, then the n dimensional random variable is going to be called it as a multivariate normal distributed random variable. Then we can define the joint probability density function, the joint probability density function of the random vector capital X whose elements are x1, x2, xn is given by x is the vector that is 1 divided by 2 pi power n by 2 multiplied by the determinant of uh, the covariance variance matrix the whole power minus 1 by 2 multiplied by exponential of uh, minus 1 by 2 x minus mu multiplied by the covariance variance matrix with the inverse multiplied by x minus mu the whole transpose where the mu is a vector that is a expectation of the vector that means whose element or expectation of x1 expectation of x2 and so on the nth element is expectation of xn mu is the vector whose elements are the expect individual expectations and uh, summation is a positive definite matrix it is the covariance variance uh, matrix of the n dimensional uh, random vector x1, x2, xn. That means uh, whose elements are the diagonal elements are uh, variance and off diagonal elements are uh, covariance uh, between uh, any two random variables which is denoted by sigma 1, 2 since sigma 1 2 is same as sigma 2 1 so both we are rated as a sigma 1 2 and the last element is sigma 1 n here the first element is sigma 1 n where sigma i j is nothing but the covariance of x i with x j when i and j are same then it becomes a variance of uh, variance of the random variable x i. 
So, the joint probability density function can be written in the form where uh, mu is the vector and sigma is the matrix and similarly small x is also vector. For example, when n is equal to 2, we call it as a bivariate x as elements x 1, x 2 that is called a bivariate normal distributed random variable. We call it as a bivariate normal distribution. In that case, the mu is going to be mu 1 comma mu 2, where mu 1 is nothing but expectation of x 1 and mu 2 is nothing but the expectation of x 2. And the summation matrix that is covariance variance matrix is nothing but variance of uh, x 1, covariance of x 1, x 2, covariance of x 1, x 2 and variance of x 2. That is sigma 1 square covariance of x 1 with the x 2, covariance of x 1 with the x 2 and variance of x 2. Now, the joint probability density function will be much simplified that is f of x 1 comma x 2 whose elements are x 1, x 2 that is nothing but 1 divided by 2, pa 2 pi power n by 2 n is 2 here therefore, 2 pi and a determinant of uh, some matrix raised to the power minus 1 by 2 and exponential of multiplied by exponential of minus 1 by 2 x minus mu summation inverse x minus mu transpose. So, we will find out each quantity separately determinant of summation matrix if you simplify you will get sigma 1 square sigma 2 square and the covariance of x 1 x 2 since we have only 2 elements we can make it as a row therefore, it is going to be 1 minus rho square. Similarly, if you find out the inverse of uh, covariance variance matrix uh, that is going to be 1 divided by variance x 1 x 2 multiplied by 1 minus rho square multiplied by rho is the correlation coefficient correct sigma 2 square minus sigma 1 2 that is covariance of uh, x 1 with x 2 minus x 1 with x 2 sigma 1 square. Therefore, you substitute uh, in the joint probability density function therefore, uh, f of x 1 with x 2 that is going to be 1 divided by 2 pi sigma 1 sigma 2 multiplied by square root of 1 minus rho square exponential of minus 1 by 2 times 1 minus rho square multiplied by x 1 minus mu 1 divided by sigma 1 the whole square minus 2 times rho x 1 minus mu 1 x 2 minus mu 2 divided by sigma 1 sigma 2 plus x 2 minus mu 2 divided by sigma 2 the whole square. This is in the curly bracket this closed bracket. 
So, this is the joint probability density function of a bivariate normal distribution in which each one is a normal distributed with the parameters mu 1 comma sigma 1 squared. Here there is another observation, we are not making the assumption of both the random variables are independent. If they are independent, then the correlation coefficient becomes 0, then we would have the middle term. So, this term will vanish. So, you will have first term as well as the third term. Similarly, when the row square is becomes uh, 0, then square root of 1 minus row square would not exist. So, when they are independent random variable, then easily you can write as the product of a two probability density function of a normal distributed random variable. But immaterial of uh, both the random variables are independent, we can get the marginal distribution of the random variable x1 from the joint you can always get the marginal by integration with respect to the other variable that is a minus infinity to infinity the joint probability density function of x1 x2 with respect to x2. If you simplify, you will get the answer that is 1 divided by square root of 2 pi sigma 1 exponential of minus 1 by 2 x, my x 1 minus mu 1 divided by sigma 1 square. So, this is the marginal distribution of the random variable x 1. Similarly, you can find the marginal distribution of x 2 by integration with respect to x 1 of a joint probability density function. So, that is going to be 1 divided by square root of 2 pi sigma 2 exponential of minus 1 by 2 x 2 minus mu 2 divided by sigma 2 the whole square. By seeing the probability density function, you can make out uh, this is a normal distribution with the mean mu 1 and the variance of sigma 1 square for the random variable x 1. Similarly, for the random variable x 2, it is also normal distributed with the mean mu 2 variance of sigma 2 square, whereas the joint 1 is given as this is a joint probability density function of bivariate normal distribution. So, this is a very good example of uh, how the covariance variance matrix uh, play a role. So, we have discussed earlier in the discrete type, now we are describing the continuous type random variable as an example for describing the covariance variance matrix. There is another uh, important uh, uh, observation in the joint probability density function of uh, normal distribution. If you substitute rho equal to 0, that is a correlation coefficient equal to 0, you will get the first term and the third term. In that, we can come to the conclusion, you will get joint probability density function of x1, x2 is same as the product of probability density function of x1, x2. <coughs> that is a when rho is equal to 0, the joint probability density function of bivariate normal distribution is land up uh, the probability density function of a normal distribution in the product. This is a very important result uh, in the sense uh, when rho is equal to 0, that is a correlation coefficient is 0, we are getting an independent relation. If they are independent, then uh, the joint probability density function is uh, going to be the product of uh, probability density functions. Usually or in general, the correlation coefficient is 0, that does not imply they are independent random variable, whereas uh, independent random variable implies the correlation coefficient or covariance between any two random variables going to be 0. The converse is uh, not true in general, but uh, for the normal distribution, the converse is also true. That means, uh, 
the covariance between any two random variables or the correlation coefficient between those two random variables are zero implies those random variables are independent. So, this is a very important result the if and only if condition for the correlation coefficient is zero and independent are going to be satisfied only for normal distributed random variables.